A liberal Supreme Court justice has surpassed retirement age. There is concern the White House and Senate could flip from Democratic to Republican control after the upcoming election. Progressives push to have the justice retire so she can be replaced by someone younger to ensure that seat maintains its ideology. Heard that before? It happened in 2013 with Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Now it's a similar story for Justice Sonia Sotomayor. But there are a few key differences this time around. In 2013, Justice Ginsburg was 80. Sotomayor is 69. In addition, the pressure on Ginsburg was far greater. Even President Obama had her over for lunch, during which he reminded her that Democrats could lose control of the Senate in 2014. It wasn't an overt call to retire, but a reminder that it would be difficult to replace her. Now it appears only pundits are calling for Sotomayor's retirement. Elected officials are not going that far. Senator Richard Blumenthal, a member of the Judiciary Committee, told NBC News that Sotomayor is a highly accomplished and obviously fully functioning justice right now. He added, justices have to make their personal decisions. NBC also reported that Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, another Judiciary Committee Democrat, said he hasn't given much thought to Sotomayor's future and is not joining any calls for her to leave the court. But Blumenthal also hinted that the possibility of losing that seat to a conservative due to unplanned events is on people's minds. Quote, we should learn a lesson, and it's not like there's any mystery here about what the lesson should be. The old saying, graveyards are full of indispensable people, ourselves in this body included. If Sotomayor does retire, it would likely not happen until July after this court term ends. Then Democrats would try to confirm a replacement before the court's next term begins in October. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.